I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make lemon bars. They're incredibly easy to make, very quick, a few very basic ingredients, which you probably already have on hand, and no doubt they're going to be delicious. Now, to make this recipe, you're going to need all-purpose flour, confectioner's sugar, unsalted butter at room temperature, fresh lemons, eggs, sweetened condensed milk, a tiny bit more flour, baking powder, salt, and this is completely optional, it's yellow food coloring. Again, that's completely optional, we'll go into that a little bit later, but to get started, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and get that waiting for you. Second thing you want to do is you want to take a 9 by 13 baking pan, and I'm lining mine with aluminum foil, but you could also line it with uh, parchment paper, that would be fine. And you don't need to grease it or anything. That's perfect as is. I just always like to line um, my baking pans and stuff because I just want to ensure that they come out easy. And with doing that, it never fails. Now, just to make the crust, in a large bowl, we're going to put in our all-purpose flour, confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar, whichever one you prefer. I don't, it goes by both names, depends on where you live, what country you live. And you're going to need two sticks, which equals one cup of unsalted butter, and it has to be really soft because we need to be able to blend this relatively easily, just like that. And I'm just making this in a bowl with a wooden spoon, and I might switch to a whisk a little bit later. Now, just using a wooden spoon, I'm just going to mix this all together until I have a pretty nice, thick uh, sort of dough, sticky dough, that we're going to press into our baking pan. This is exactly what we're looking for. It's nice and sticky, but not too sticky. And we're going to put this into our foil-lined baking pan. Just like that. Now, using my spatula, part, some, part the spatula, partly my hand, and partly the bottom of this ramekin, we're going to press this out on the bottom and halfway up the sides of the pan. If you feel like it's getting too sticky, just take a little bit more flour and dust it on your hands so your hands don't stick. Well, that's pretty much good. You see, I'm just using the ramekin to kind of help me guide it into pushing it and flatten it. You can also just use the bottom of a regular drinking cup, but this looks just about perfect. Now I'm going to pop this in the oven for 20 minutes at 350, then I'm going to clean up and we'll start making the filling. Now I baked my bottom layer for 20 minutes at 350. Now I'm letting this cool for just a few minutes while I make the filling. Now in this bowl, I'm just gonna put the eggs with the sweetened condensed milk. And I'm gonna mix those two together. Now that we have that, I'm gonna add in my flour. And I know it's not a lot of flour, it's only a tablespoon, but that and the eggs are really what's gonna be the binder to the filling. And also the baking powder and the salt and the lemon juice. I have a uh, two-thirds of a cup of lemon, fresh squeezed lemon juice that I just squeezed. And I also grated the zest of one lemon. I'm gonna put that right in. Whoops, a couple pips in there, but oh well, that would be like the lucky the lucky winner. Whoops. Just mix those two that together until you have a nice creamy filling. That's just about perfect. Nice and thick. I was able to fish out the seeds. No one needs to know I made a little oopsie doodle. Now this is already perfect as is, and it's a beautiful pale yellow color, but I really want to enhance that yellow color so people know it's a lemon bar. So I'm just gonna put in a few drops of yellow food coloring. That is yellow, it's not pink. <laughs> just a touch, it doesn't affect the flavor and you don't have to put it in there. I just like to, because like I said, I like to people to know that it's lemon nice bright yellow color. All right, that's it. Now I'm just going to put this in my crust and I'm going to let this bake. Just pour it in here. Now I'm just going to have to level this all out. I usually just tilt the pan if I have to, but this is perfect. Now I'm just going to put this back in the oven, 350, no adjustments, for about 25 minutes and then, I know it's a little bit of a toughie, but it has to cool for about two to three hours because if it's not cool, it won't set completely and when you go to slice them, you have a just crumbly mess. So in they go.
After baking our lemon bars for 25 minutes, I let them cool completely for about three hours, and now it's time to eat. Oh, okay. Now watch how easy it is when you have parchment paper or aluminum foil. Ready? Just gonna put this aside. Look at that. The edges will do that a little bit, but that's all right. That's good. Now, my tip to getting beautiful, beautiful bars without crumbles all over the place. Take a large cup of hot water, take your knife, insert it in there, okay? And just, you can make them as big or as little as you prefer. Every time you cut, you dip your knife. The water's gross, I won't recommend drinking it after that, but what does that matter? And just do it over and over again. That's cut. We're just gonna arrange them. You can cut them as big or as small as you like, but look at that. You have that perfect crust on the bottom, which is basically a shortbread crust. That's perfect. I'm just going to arrange them on this platter. Look how easy they come out because we just lined that with a little bit of aluminum foil. It really makes our job a lot easier. Look at me, always thinking, always got my little tips and tricks to make things easier. So just line them all up. Now that we have them lined up there, like little pretty soldiers, <laughs> we're gonna sprinkle them with some confectioner sugar. Look at that. These are gonna be so good. I make these a lot because, as you guys know me, if you watch any of my other episodes, sweet or savory, you probably know, I'm a huge lemon lover. I put lemon in everything. So lemon and dessert, it's a natural. They go hand in hand. Mmm, 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 so good. That custard, it's like insanely delicious. Lemony, but somehow not too lemony. I really can't describe it. It's just perfect and delicious. And if you want a little bite of heaven, you go in your kitchen, you make this recipe. And to get the ingredients and the full recipe for it, you can find it on my website at www.laurenthekitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Today's Twitter question comes from Narnian Girl 20. Laura, what is your favorite dessert? Now, a lot of you I know are expecting me to say something chocolate because you all know how much I'm just like a crazy chocolate lover. I love Nutella and I eat it straight out of the tub. But if I have to pick one dessert that's my all time favorite, it would have to be a traditional Italian pastiera, which is a grain pie made from cooked whole wheat and ricotta and a really um, unusual extract that's made from like the scent of a thousand flowers. It's like really rosy smelly. I know it sounds strange and I can't describe it and probably guys are going, I don't know what she's talking about, but that is my favorite all time dessert ever. I don't know why, it just is. Now, if you have a question you'd like to see answered on my show, tweet me at Laura's Kitchen. Don't forget the hashtag, Laura Vitale.